Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. This video is of an unboxing of the Nico Sterling a 5 to 20 by 50 uh, Target Master half mil dot reticle. Uh, this is non illuminated reticle. Um, got these from Cleavers on a special for $180. Um, I've also purchased another Nico 6 to 24 by 50 and it's the same scope uh, it's $195 at the moment and uh, I got these two they're basically the same Target Master brand uh, with half mil dot reticle uh, these ones are made in China it's got the sticker here um, comes in the standard Nikko uh, sterling box with the logo it will be black with uh, red on it it has on the top little crosshairs on it. It's the same size as the other side here. Um, they've been around since 1956. Uh, people have used these all around Australia. Um, when I first started uh, four years ago, uh, I bought a Nico Sterling uh, in the 90 the series and I uh, sold them uh, for better optics and have tried different things have you seen on my site um, okay. yeah, here it has two little tabs here it's for easy access to pull the box off by pulling these two down and inside the box here it will come with the foam in here have the scope in a plastic bag Off. I have recently purchased these and I've uh, placed it on the rifle uh, beforehand and um, this is the scope here with the Leopold uh, rings that I had before this is a, a 1mm tube and these rings are for 30 and I have those eBay uh, 1 inch inserts uh, so then I can use it on anything uh, that are quick detachable uh, ones it's fairly long, uh, all Nico Sterlings are fairly fairly long in, in scope wise. It's a 50mm objective, it comes with scope caps, uh, flip ones, they come off easily. There's no sunshade with this model, you can put sunshades in them as well. That's the rear one here, it has the riding. Target Master with the brand, what size it is, it also uh, pops up and also has a eye relief here, with positive and negative, and that pushes forward and back. There's a bit of a gap there um, that I've put because normally I put them all the way forward uh, to get a clear reticle, but I'm finding that I need a little bit more eye relief uh, to be further away from my. Uh, my eye is normally straight up next to it, but I find out it's about here that I can see perfectly through them. And like all night eater scopes, um, depending on where the notches are inside here, the teeth they may not line up uh, as perfect as you want it to, but that's alright. It's fairly straight at the moment, so there are a lot more teeth in there from the previous ones has the logo here on the parallax here it has uh, indication marks which is the night either series didn't have indication marks on where the zero was and this one does it has a clear line it has zero resetting settable rings you undo them and then you can move them and then tighten them down clockwise, anti clockwise is to loosen, and then you can move it. Also, has um, the little key here that you put the Allen key in, and you can make that to the zero if you like, uh, or you can just keep it as a factory setting. It's only on the factory setting at the moment, I haven't uh, set my zero. It has been sighted for uh, 15 meters on uh, my air rifle. 
or um, my 22 as well which I've uh, just uh, gone to range quickly just to see how well the scope performs uh, that's on the uh, 6x24 at the moment uh, the 5 to 20 which will be on my F-Class rifle uh, just because the Leopold is currently on the Hauer rifle and I'm using it more so these are fairly heavy they're 693 grams I think um, it's a 1 fourth mil dot half mil dot uh, 100 It uh, is made from aluminum too. It's uh, also uh, glass etched, a half mil dot reticle with low dispression priority ETE multi coated lenses. This is waterproof and shock proof nitrogen filled. It uh, uh, Field of view is uh, 1.7 uh, millimeters, and uh, at eye magnification, low power magnification is uh, 6.7 millimeters, and uh, click value at 100. It says here that it's 7 millimeters. Windage adjustment in MOAs for the up and down is uh, 30. Also, the left and right windage adjustment is 30 mils. Uh, the eye relief at high magnification is 90 millimeters and 100 at low. It is a 900, uh, sorry, 394 millimeters in length and 692 in grams. It has a parallax of 9.1 to infinity. And uh, that's just the what it says on the Nico site. These come in different sizes. There's about five or six different uh, power scopes, um, from one powers all the way up to six uh, to twenty-four. And this is basically a low-budget scope. Underneath here has the serial number. As you can see here is it has uh, 500 to infinity and all the way up to 10 it goes a bit further than 10 because it will be about 9.1 they're very easy to turn like all Nikos they're very easy to operate that lock is very tight you can't move it and uh, the power selector also is easy to operate the number's clearly marked. It's got the thumb tab to move it. At high magnification, as the Nikos do get hazy or a bit blurry or a bit hard to see when it's, the gun is to the shoulder, I found that they still do that from the Night Eater series. These are just off of the 20 or the 16 power, it's clear. It got no trouble. They're very good uh, quality scopes for what they are. Uh, these are pretty much bash around scopes. Uh, pretty much farm guns and stuff, truck guns. You really don't want your Leopold gear getting wrecked. Um, so these are, you know, quad pipe and stuff like that. Um, they are fairly tough. You can take a beating. Um, I've had no trouble in the field. They do scratch easily as well. Normally when you're putting the rings on sometimes you get a bit of a scratch. This will add a bit of poundage to your rifle as you would have, would have told you the weight. Um, if you want a wider scope then you would go with the higher quality uh, glass because they are a bit wider and they're smaller in size. 
I'm very happy with these at the moment. On my F-Class rifle, there's only maybe one mil clearance or two mil clearance right under here. This cap doesn't actually fit onto that, the F-Class rifle. It's only literally just the tip of that is the barrel starts on low mounts. Uh, I have the same mounts. Um, well, these are, this is the scope for it, so these are the low mounts. Probably medium would be a good idea. But this is the by far the uh, closest I've ever got to the barrel, as you would have seen the Tika and the other videos where they were super high above that. I've been told that you've uh, it doesn't really matter how far that scope is to the barrel, or most people uh, try and get it the closest. Uh, the accuracy isn't really too much difference. Um, I'm only in the first stages of uh, trying to sight these in and giving my impression. Um, you may see it on a few hunting videos if I uh, get some people to come with me and do some night hunting or something um, with these and see how scopes perform in the field. Also the uh, paperwork in here that you see, you have extra screws in the 5 to 20 there's also cleaning for the lenses has instructions here that most people will know this normally doesn't show the actual scope it just says different things to do tells it how to mount it how to zero it um, and if your scope what uses, uh, it's a one four click. Um, these are the yardages and clicks that you need to know. Double sided. It says here if you've got one eighth click, what it is. Some scopes there and products that they use. Um, this one here is the instruction manual for the target master from 1 power to 6 power pretty much um, tells you all the stuff how to which way the scope brings turn how to reset the zero so it says here the little locking ring it says sun shades are available gives you a diagram of the actual reticle itself and the, what values they are here it tells you each scope model uh, what power it needs to be on uh, to do it and uh, one mil is A which is A here which is the space between the big ones big dots the hashes are half mil here and MOAC is one as well. You also get the uh, Allen key in it in the uh, six by twenty four. You don't actually get an Allen key, I'm not sure why. They may have forgot to pack it. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't get screws either for the turrets. Um, I'm not sure if they're two different uh, brands, or not brands, but two different uh, manufacturing dates. Because uh, one of the boxes is a matte box and uh, it doesn't also have the instructions with it and um, yeah hopefully I'll get many years of service with uh, Nico Sterling uh, they do have a a warranty uh, I think lot for life uh, I've never had uh, too much of an issue with these scopes other than them being blurry uh, but depends uh, what type ones you get.